always knew it was gonna end this way. I always knew that this was probably gonna be our only way out. And in a way, I feel like, I feel like that was Mikasa and all of their friends not giving up on him, not letting him go out that way. Is that weird? Is that a weird thing to say? That like, he kind of was saying like that, just, just let me go. Just forget about me. And if they couldn't save him, they at least were going to set him free. And Mikasa had to be the one. Mikasa had to be the one. It all came down to Mikasa. And although they never got to share that moment in life that I know she wanted, I think maybe he wanted to, I don't know, we never really got to sort all that out. Um, at least she got to show her love in that last goodbye to him. Like, I knew, I knew there was no way around this. I knew there was, I knew, especially on a show like this, like, we're not, we are not going to be able to come out of this with, like, a happy ending. There was no saving Aaron. That, that was saving Aaron. I just wish we hadn't had to lose John and Connie and all of them, like, they all got turned, and the only way that they're going to be them again is if they go and consume other titans, and I don't see that happening. I think that's it. But I don't know. Like, I don't know that, know that, but even then, it's like, even then you're on a timetable, you know? You only have, like, the, what, 13 years, but I don't, I don't think that's happening anyway. All right. If you had told me at the beginning of this series that this is what it was going to look like at the end, man, I would not have believed you. But in the end, that somehow f was the most fitting. That somehow was the most fitting. We were never going to get out of this without taking him out. I, just plain and simple. All right, guys, the final chapter. And we have, like, 25 minutes left. 30 minutes. Let's go. Man. Why are they low? Oh my God. They're like... He wanted to push them away. It has it... Oh, my God. Oh my god, was I right? Was I right that he knew that the only thing that could unite? But it's already happening. They already saw. But people have already started. They've already. St these enemies have already started making connections now. It's already in motion. Did I really? I was gonna say, was it love? It could have been love. She had a family with him. Wow. And someone showed up. No way. Oh. Because Mikasa knew what it, Mikasa knew what it was like to suffer for the sake of love. What? He saw the future. He saw all of this, and he.
Uh, let's, you know what, Aaron? You know what? You don't have to go through this alone. You never have had to go through it alone. There's no way she'll ever. Oh! Oh, yeah! See, the thing is, there's no way that's ever, ever, ever gonna happen. We. She, she, you were her everything. Yeah, no. There was no way that was gonna stick. Ah! Uh, are you, tr oh! Oh, he was trying to get him. Oh, he loves her. Of course he does. Oh, Aaron, why didn't you say that? Why couldn't they have just said it while they were still together? He was trying to goad him into saying it. But he loves her, and there is a selfish part of them that wants to be loved by her. Oh! He really didn't want this. He wanted to be with them. 80%! Oh! We did so, oh my god! We did so much damage! It doesn't end. The, the, well, yeah, what was the point? Whoa. Aaron, no. No, because you just said you exist outside of time. But there's got to be a way. A slave to freedom. It, it isn't. It is not even close to being a solution. We've, we've got to keep our eye on that hope. Without that hope, what is the point? There's no, no. I, I won't accept this. I won't accept this. I won't accept this. He just wanted to go see this with you. I think in his own way, he did want to protect them. Oh. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, you you messed up in a lot of ways. Why did it all have to go this way? That's I've been asking myself. Oh, okay. I mean, as we've all we all thought it once or twice at least on the show. He was the one who introduced him to the concept of freedom. The bloody seashell. Did they really have to show me the bloody seashell? We had something great, but we were always looking ahead to something else. Oh, we're all going to suffer the same fate? What are you saying? Oh, we're all going to be in there together. Even, even in bearing the weight of his sins, Armin doesn't want him to be alone. That's, that's crazy. He's like, we all did this. We're all going to suffer together. <laughs> oh, it, it, it all came down to the connections between the people that we love. He's like, I'll be waiting for you after, after Mikasa takes me out. Oh, good God. All we wanted was freedom. But what we had was pretty special too. Huh? Ah! So are we back before the rumbling happened? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so so then that all happened before and they didn't have the memories oh my 
god, did he un- He undid it. What? Did he undo it all somehow? He was a suicidal maniac this whole time. He was this whole time. Oh, they were all there with you. They were all there with you. They were. This, this is, this is the one. This is the one that they all gave it up for. This was it. Oh. oh. That was it. Oh my girl, Sasha, baby girl, you're here too. They all de- So they're all detitened, which means they all get to live? Which means they all get to live. Are there no more titans now? Are there no more titans? We're, we're, all, we're all getting to make our peace, you guys. She's going to make sure that he has a, a resting place. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. It's over, you guys. It's over. He deserves some rest. Get some rest, Aaron. That place where we keep on seeing... Oh, yeah, no, there's no way we're all doing this. It's it's over. It's over. Yeah, somebody bite themselves and show them they can't do it. Yeah. Exactly. You're really going to shoot a bunch of powerless people? Are you Are you serious? So he's coming in to take. Oh, there's Emir. Oh, Emir has been. Wow. You know what? I mean, I think Emir suffered a lot too. So why not? Just everyone, just rest in peace. Since so it keeps on going on. Yep. Three years. Three years. I was gonna say the baby's not a little baby. Oh. Really? Yeah, even with no Titans, we're still... But that was always going to be the case. He's got to look good for the history books, you guys. Things never change. What are we doing? Are we trying to make peace with the paradise? Oh, so it's a risk. It's a risk. It's a big risk. Okay, that's what we're dealing with. Will want to know. Yeah. That, I think they're going to be curious. They're going to be. Oh, wow. Oh, did we? Oh, is he? He's passing out candy to kids. Oh, here we go. And still wearing the scarf. Still wearing the scarf. So she's back. And there's the. They're going to be spending a lot of time there together. We could still see it like it was yesterday. Oh, honey. Oh, because if anyone knows what it's like to be tormented for a long time for the sake of love, it is Mikasa. Oh. Is the bird gonna... Did we just get a little visit from his spirit? Maybe? A bird? So he's like free as a bird now? Is that what they're trying to tell us? That he's, he's watching over us? Oh man. <laughs> Who was the fa 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back. Because who was the fan? Are they trying to imply that, like... Maybe there were, like, other people coming to see him, too. And civilization goes on and on and builds up. Oh, and it happens all over again. It happens all over again. It happens all over again. Because that's life, you guys. The conflict goes on. But you know what else goes on? Everything else goes on. Oh, boy. A kid and their dog. We're... Oh, Oh, doggy! We're out here with our doggy, and the dog, and we see the tree, and we see the tree, and the headstone is undoubtedly still there. Oh, and there's for generations to come. Generations to come are going to the end. The end. Even though it's never really the end, because all of that keeps going. <sighs> you know what? I can't think of a better way to show just how complex and simple life and death are all at the same time than what they just showed us here. So, I got whiplash trying to keep up with what it actually was that was Aaron's whole point. And the most that I can kind of string together is that Aaron saw a future, the only future that could happen was one where Mikasa brought this all about and he had to keep pushing her towards that no matter what it was that he had to do because Emir saw something about Mikasa and Aaron came and visited them and they had forgotten until that moment he always knew that this is how it was going to have to go. And as awful as everything that he did was, he did kill tons of people. I mean, there's just no way you can paint him as the hero in this. Yet at the same time, he, he was not fighting for his own freedom. He was fighting for theirs, I feel like. He set them free from the Titans. He set them free from having to die young. He put them in a position where at least there was a chance for there to be anything to convince the outside world that they could be trusted and that they could rebuild together. It's so messed up because it's still not right. Like, it's never, it's never going to be like a cut and dry, like, oh, he did the right thing. But the way that Armin was like, I'm the one who got you set on this idea of freedom. I'm the one who wanted to see all of this. And if you're going to suffer, I'm going to suffer with you. Even after all of that. That, that's what, that, that's what makes it about more than just life and death is all the stuff in between. If you just look at it as life and death and survival and just this cold idea of like life and death or freedom, like what, what do any of those even mean without everything behind it? Um, And just, like, the fact that Ymir wanted connection and everything, like, I think it just says so much. Like, at the end of the day, this was about the whole world, and it was about three people all at the same time. He made sure that they all got out. They were detightened and that they lived. And even... Like, I'm so, I'm so glad at the way that they painted this because it really summed up the whole series. And that's that even if you manage to attain 
a tenth of this concept of like freedom. Like even if you manage to get like this tiny little bit, this tiny chance that they can make, that they can go on and after these events be the ones who are the heroes and saved the day and killed Aaron and, and they can go on and rebuild the world and everything. Even then, you're never going to get rid of conflict. You won't get rid of conflict between the Aldeans and the rest of the world. You won't get rid of long after people have forgotten what the heck an Eldian or a Marlian is and civilizations have risen and fallen. There will always be, it will always be this way. And there is like, there is a sadness to that, that the fact that there will just never not be conflict. But I think that if you're going to take anything away from this, it's that there's always going to be peace too. There's always going to be that opportunity for it. Um, there's always going to be the choice. And I don't know, Historia had kind of a point when she said, like, we'll keep fighting so that there will come a time when there's no fighting, you know? It's, it's kind of perpetual. But I don't know. I, I think that there's kind of a weird sort of hope in all of it because it's always attainable. You know what I mean? Even if you don't see it in your lifetime. And Aaron didn't see it in his lifetime. And a lot, oh, so many of our friends didn't see it in their lifetimes. The fact that they would bring them out as like force ghosts, you guys, <laughs> that were watching over us this whole time. Oh my god. Um. So where we left it was that Mikasa was back at Paradise and she was with she never did let him go. She never did forget him. I think maybe he'd be happy to know as much as he wants her to be happy that um that she didn't really ever let him go there was this little let me just go back and see this really fast because there was this little scene and i'm wondering what were they trying like were they trying to say she did end up having a family because i saw like people roll on up to the grave or was that our friends i'm not sure let's go back and see really quickly And now Crunchyroll's gonna give me a hard time. And then there's like more people who roll up and they're in like a car and I'm like, oh, who is that? There's like, I don't know if we're supposed to like know the people or not. But there's like somebody, there's like two people there. And then they fade away. Maybe that was just like the ghost image of, and then there's, then they're over there and now there's a car and now there's, oh, is that our friends coming with their families maybe? Or, Cause what I was trying to see was like, were they implying that maybe like at some point Mikasa does go and have like a family? I don't know. That's all I was trying to like ascertain from that. But, um, I would love to think that like all our friends went on and, and went on to have long lives like he wanted that's what he and then it then it kind of made sense to me it's like he he couldn't achieve peace but he at least put them in a position where they would maybe have a better shot at trying to like sell the idea that they were they could be trusted you know and that would get things rolling from there in terms of peace. And he freed them from the Titan power. Um, and I imagine just pro taking out Ymir, like took out all of the, take, taking out that, that first founder just like undid all of the Titan powers. So at the very least, like there's always going to be conflict, but they're never going to have to worry about the Titan powers. You know, these like, complete wrecking machines that just like no you can't even so I mean without that you at least have the grounds to say like they're at least on a level playing field you know what I mean so he really he really did 
I mean, that really does, it's the best chance to set them up for trying to be able to make peace. He definitely did a lot of horrible things along the way. So did this whole line of, of, you know, nobody was like really innocent in this, you know? I mean, I feel bad for Ymir, and honestly, I think she deserved freedom too, and I hope she finds peace. Um, but, so she did, she, it was the love, I mean, it's a love for the king, I just, I'm like, wow. But the love, for, I mean, I could see the love for the kids. I could see the love for her family. I could see that, like, there was something binding her to them. You know what I mean? And that's what kept this going. Love kept this going. That's kind of crazy. That is, I mean, those are, like, some real, legitimately heavy concepts, you guys. Like, we tackled it all. We tackled love, friendship, war, peace, hate, destruction, creation. We tackled it all on this series. We really, really did. And I can't think of a better depiction of just literally what it means to be a human being and have everything that comes with that. The power to create, to destroy, to love, to hate. All the choices that come along with that. This was a really good depiction of that. And, and war. I mean, this series, this series gave me some of the best food for thought. Some of the best stuff I've ever seen in terms of fiction. And it gave me total trust issues. <laughs> it didn't give me trust issues at one point. But you know what? At the end of the day, I feel like if there's anything you can take away from it, it's, it's that, I don't know. There's always going to be bad, but there's always going to be good too. There's never just going to be one or the other. I really feel like that's my big takeaway. My big takeaway is that they're always going to coexist. Which one will you make the decision to give power to if if you have the choice which you always do all right guys <laughs> i think that's about all i got in me for now that was an emotional hour and a half that was so, i mean like i'm gonna have to rewatch it like three four more times just to get everything i really really will and i really hope i didn't miss a ton of really good stuff too although i probably did but that's what rewatches are for so um Thank you guys. You've been you've been with me on this journey since I think like 2019 or 20, 2019. Four years. And a lot of you have been doing this for 10 whole years. I've only been doing it for four. Um, thank you for joining me. It was an experience, wasn't it? It really truly was. Um, couldn't have done it without you. It was such a ride. Um, I hope you will join me for other anime for other series that I'm watching um if you're not already uh I hope you enjoyed watching along with me I need to take about an hour and a half walk and think about life and also get a snack and also get a hug because that was really something that was a good ending it was not a it was not I knew it wasn't gonna be like a happy ending but I gotta tell you that was that was like that was a better ending than I would have thought like I really thought like they're all gonna get taken out they will all get picked off one by one and we will just see like a hundred years later somebody's like living peacefully because of them I mean and um, uh, they didn't they don't have an easy road ahead of them either like, it's not like they all just got to live happily ever after. They said right there, like, we could all die right here. But they but they got the chance, you know. I think that's pretty awesome. Um, all right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please join me for my other shows. Um, I do watch pretty traumatizing shows, so I could use your help with some of the other stuff I'm checking out as well. So I hope you will please join me next time. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.